folks, back getting back uh, morally dangerous. Yes, we are still in a Corvette, but there's a good reason. I've just been out across the other side of the bubble and I've been uh, shooting things. So I do plan at some point to come back and uh, let's get out of here actually. I do plan to come out of here at some point and uh, do some back to basic stuff in Vipers and Eagles and yeah, have some fun. You know, take the FDL out, kick some ass. But uh, for now, we're going to a conflict zone. We have a couple of missions to do. And I figured, yeah, let's see what happens. Um, not going to treat you guys like uh, newbies this time. Last video, I wasn't sure really who'd watch it because of having mostly Grand Theft Auto viewers. I thought, wow. Well, I'll kind of talk about things in a bit more of an RP way and a bit more. Um, explanatory of you know how the game works i wasn't suggesting the corvette is something you can get into as soon as you start certainly not um but it's my favorite ship so i thought i'd just use it for my first video um for this one we're gonna head out see we've got to massacre the emperor's grace ships so what we need to do is head into a conflict zone where they're in the middle of a civil war Find them and beat the living shit out of them. Nice and simple. Let's jump. Yeah, it should be fairly simple. Go place, shoot people. Make splat. Um, yeah, like I said, I'll be doing a back to basics video where I'll go to some of the starter ships and show people how kind of I would have played if I'd just started the game now, knowing what I do. Uh, that'd be pretty fun actually. But for now, um, revel in some glorious violence. Corvette style should be uh, different at least. I do want to do a lot more Elite Dangerous videos. I'm really, really happy with the response I got from the first one. Wasn't expecting that many people to like it or watch it, and you guys seem to enjoy it. So uh, we'll do some more of that. The RP style gameplay, perhaps not as much. That didn't go down so well, but let's just do Elite Dangerous stuff. Um, here we go. Conflict zone, high intensity, there's low intensity, high intensity, just levels of, of contact. I figure we can manage this one. So just remind ourselves we need to be against the Emperor's Grace. Oh, the shit is kicking off in here. Uh, choose faction. So we're choosing the other side. Right, let's get the boom boom sticks out. And it's time to go shoot people in the face. Vulture. Oh, what's this? That's a clipper. You'll be my first victim, sir. Power to weapons. Have I made a big mistake, really? Or has your face made a big mistake? Flight assist button is kind of difficult to reach right now. I need to reprogram that one. The uh, the pinky trigger on the X-52 I use has gotten a bit sticky, so it's kind of difficult to get it to behave itself sometimes and just click off when I want it to. You need to just explode for the good of your own sake. Let me help you. There we go. A little bit of a ram didn't hurt anybody. Uh, what have we got? More clippers. AKA dinner. Oh, he's about to explode. What's his friend? That is a vulture. He's target. Let's go for him. This is easier than I recall. Unlike the bounty hunting you saw in the first episode, obviously, this isn't really any sort of sensitivity of. Oh, find a target. Scan them for how much their bounty's worth, then shoot them. No, this is just a brutal case of find baddie, shoot. This is a python. You can go and get fucked. You will see a lot of bigger ships here in uh, 
comfort zones, of course. Especially the high intensities. See, down there, that is a friendly Imperial Cutter. I have one of these. They're fucking huge. I mean, this is as big as my ship. Off we go. It's a vulture. He's about to have a very sorry end. See, I can't get the damn thing to fucking engage. Oh, now it engages. And now it behaves. I, d I don't understand. Who really knows anything? And the bad people have all gone away, apparently. They didn't want to be involved in this. Let's try and get over there and find him. If anybody is wondering what those things are shuffling around the left, uh, right hand side of the screen are. The power. Obviously, I need to have balance. I want to use certain things. Put a few things on this guy to claim him as our target. You are not escaping, fucker. Please explode. There we go. And there's more over here, so... What have we got? It's worth eating. That's a <laughs> tiny little fighter. That's basically the Imperial fighter I have in my bay, so... Is that a clipper? No, it's only a clipper. Please vaporize. Basically, flight assist I mentioned previously is, uh, again, sorry, teaching people to suck eggs, but if you don't know what it is, it returns us to fully Newtonian physics in that a ship can... If I pull back on the stick and then let go like I'm doing, yeah. I keep rotating because nothing's there to stop it. Splat this guy a bit. Go. Yeah, basically a uh, few questions that came up from the uh, first video comments. Um, yeah, so uh, I will be doing kind of a starter playthrough of how to begin. Uh, that will happen. Uh, yes, I know the Corvette is not a ship you all can walk into from the start of the game. I've said that at the start of this video. I'll say it again. Um, yes, this thing is engineered to fuck. Oh, fuck flight assist off. There's no need for me to fly that. Yeah, people, someone was criticizing the last video that, oh, yeah, you need to have flight stop to turn. Well, yeah, you do, but at the same time, I'm using thrust vectoring as well right now, which you can't see, to help me turn, because there's more than just one way to skin a fucking cat. But, yeah, I'll do it. If it's something super critical, like PvP, where turning really fast is important and will give me a huge edge, yeah, sure, I'll do it. The NPCs are stupid. I don't need to turn that quickly. This thing can absorb as many hits as I want and just not go down. Let's get ourselves turned around. Um, yeah, these massacre missions are great. You pick it up, go into a system where there's obviously a war on, and you can pick a side. A typical the stations will offer missions to go and uh, get involved, pick a side, help them by killing their enemy. And it makes your job very easy, you know? It's. Simple stuff. True to the bad people. Have a good day. What is above us here? More enemy vessels have just jumped in. Give me something bigger that's going to be more interesting. Who are you? Oh, really? An eagle? Come back. Oh, another question someone brought up. Why well, they're not going to play the game until uh, big ships are sluggish and fat and slow. Uh, like they apparently should be. Oh, I didn't know you were, you know, an aeronautical engineer who specialised in spacecraft. Um, because, as far as I'm aware, vessels in space have no weight. Just mass. Now, come here, you shit. What is this? Was oh, is it you? 
Yeah. No weight, just mass. Uh, that can be affected by proximity to planets and things. Go the fuck away. I'm talking. Thank you. Now hurry up and explode. I don't want to shoot my friends because that gets them kind of pissed off. Uh, but yeah. So in the grand scheme of things, the vessels that are big player controlled ships in Elite, we all want to imagine a great big capital ships and warships and it's all very cool, isn't it? Frankly, they're not that big. Okay, even the Corvette is not that big in the grand scheme. Now, what this means is that they can maneuver a lot better than you'd think. Plus, the, the ability for a space vessel or a vessel like this to, because it's not restricted by gravity or its weight um, and its control surfaces and their response time, a big ship can move as fast as these ones are, you know? It's possible. Physics says it is a thing, right? And I'm more likely to believe physics than I am a particular science fiction show you watched. Now, if you're a Star Wars fan, yeah, you look at something as big as... Uh, the Star Destroyers, sure, you know, they can't move very fast because they are huge. Now you look at some of the capital ships in Elite Dangerous, the super freighters that are around now, um, huge things that just chug along through space, big enough that you could dock aboard them. Yeah, sure, they don't move particularly fast because they're huge vessels. Um, the Corvette, I mean, Christ, you could fit... A squadron of corvettes inside one of the federal capital ships you know that's a thing and when you're carrying a squadron of them i think they can be a bit more maneuverable perhaps oh warrior yes i love these yes uh in conflict zones now you tend to find um getting now some power you tend to find a lot of type nines cargo ships uh which are running around for some unknown reason covered in uh, armor as somehow t uh, warships it's hilarious there we go i passed the mission but i'm gonna carry on shooting things for a bit and oh fuck jubby's a buddy uh yeah so uh, to, to answer that point which i've been long-windedly ignoring for the last five minutes yeah, this ship should probably be able to move like this, okay? It's not unrealistic. Oh no, everything flies like a fighter! No, this doesn't fly like a fighter, trust me. In a player fighter, this is not going to be able to outmaneuver one. At all. What's attacking our friend? Okay. Not for long he's going to be attacking anyone. But... Yes, so big, bigger things can... Oh, jeez, you were close. I should stop shooting before they're scanned. Oh, hello. That was close. Um, so, yeah, they can manoeuvre a lot more quickly than you'd think, which, of course, is more than... Okay, stop labouring at the point, about the point and get to it. Right. Basically, you're wrong. Sci-fi has told you that things are meant to be a certain way when physics basically doesn't corroborate it. Elite Dangerous is nothing if not actually pretty accurate in terms of what things could be like or would be like and you know I think we'd have ships that behave like this. It's a bigger weapons platform. Doesn't mean it has to sit in space stationary and let things shoot at it, you know? That would make no sense whatsoever. Ooh, more clippers. I like the big ships. See, uh, for those who haven't played before, I get money for these each ship I kill as well, not just the missions I have to, to shoot them, so. And the bigger ones pay more. Somebody else made a good point as well about, uh, oh, you're flying a federal ship. Oh, I hate it when Imperials just paint, you know, white and call it an Imperial vessel. It's role play, you know? I'm part of a group called the Prismatic Imperium and it fits the kind of, it picks the kind of character, you know, my character's a former federal pilot, I used to be with the Federation for power play, um, until the community fell apart through being an online community and turned to shit, everyone threw their toys out of pram and I decided to just do my own thing, 
I found another group was a bit more focused on roleplay. I rather enjoyed that, and it gave the game some purpose, you know? It gave it a lot of feeling, which is what I wanted. And my character being a fed, I thought, well, I'll make it realistic, you know? She's she got disillusioned with the federal way, um, maybe took her ship and maybe her crew agreed with her. Uh, they went privateer for a while and ended up being mercenaries and then found a home in, in Kubio with the Prismatic Imperium became Imperial so it's yeah it's not an official Imperial war vessel but you know what this is space I can make up my own story if I want to uh, yeah so if you have any other questions related to Elite Dangerous sure throw them my way criticisms whatever don't care um I do answer questions in the comments. I try and answer them during videos if I can, if it's more like this, informational. Um, go for it, you know? Happy to talk. Uh, I've had people asking the build. In the comments, I did actually post the Coriolis build of this ship. Uh, not the engineering stats, because honestly, I can't remember them. I'd have to go through and specifically do that. Plus, setting the engineering stats in Coriolis is a pain in the ass. And horrendous. What I will tell you is I have um, the jump drives uh, tuned up for distance on this thing. So, increase the, by stock, its jump range should be appalling. This is a fat ship. Stock, fully upgraded with the mil military armor on. It should basically be, he's run away, um, about 10 light years jump range. This thing could do 16, um, which is great considering... We have twin um, overcharged with thermal effect, multi cannons on the huge points. Everything else is rapid fire pulse lasers with phasing sequence so we can shoot through shit. Oh, an Imperial Cutter? And it's a baddie. You, sir, are going down. This is a ship that's about the same size as mine. Let's make it rain. Oh, fuck it. Let's go for it. Powered shields. Bonk. See? No damage taken because fuck you. That's why. <laughs> when you put all power to your shields, um, again, some players know this who play the game, some don't. When you've just got a couple of pips to shields, it's not your full strength. If you put four pips in, it's full strength. So you can actually ram people and take less damage if you pip up before you hit someone. And I do tend to ram people a lot. It's a very big ship. It has a lot of mass that it hurts. Let's deal with this guy. See, even Imperial Cutters fall apart in front of this thing. I have a cutter. She's... Ooh, 100 grand. Nice. Uh, I have a cutter. She's equipped for... Uh, should we say high value trade at the moment? So, designed for moving lots of shit quickly and without getting shot at because there's no profit when you explode which is something i try to treat teach traders in open play when i find them is that substituting your shields for more cargo space might give you a bigger payday occasionally but when you explode it's not very good for you oh here's a cutter His friends are trying to attack me. See, I, I love how hard this ship is. I could sit in a high intensity conflict zone, not particularly asked about anything, and just kind of answer your questions, your feedback. But we're doing missions, so we're trying to do the best. Of course, uh, if you're not into this game and you'd like the idea of it, get it, because in 3 2.4 is coming out soon, which is the return of the alien race of Thargoids, which I can't wait for. They've been teased and they're starting to come back now and they're being seen around, but it's really exciting times in regards to that and all this Federation and Imperial crap that's been building up over the people playing the game is going to be going away soon as we're all going to have to be friends once aliens start coming trying to uh, hump our space legs. Right. Reverse. Let's try and go drop this guy's shields because he's a bit of a for cookie apparently oh didn't have my shit i didn't put pips in my shields and look at what damage it did to me almost a full ring of damage come on explode please it's pretty brutal when the corvette's close to a cutter and just wailing away at it 
it's just a blur of crap being fired through space. And he's about to explode. It's just a tiny little thing in comparison. Come here. Let's explode. Many thanks. I should probably use a cell bank at some point. When I've killed this guy. You should go pop fairly rapidly. Come on. Time to say goodnight. Okay, let's... We're heat sink to make sure we don't overheat. Go away, I'm recharging. What are you? Oh, Cobra, really? Is that it? Come back. Let's get with you. I can't think of any other questions that came up uh, during the comments for the last video, so if I've forgotten them, I do apologise. Um, I will get to them. Maybe this next video, whatever. Um, post things you want to see. Like I said, I'll do this kind of starter run through of the zero to hero, if you will. I ain't restart resetting his account if that's what you're going to ask. Because I kind of like having the stuff I've got here. And it's taken about three years to have all of it, so that's the thing. Um, I try not to go down the route of exploits and things. I don't do them at all, really, because I think they're a waste of time. If I'm going to play a game, I'm going to play the game, so if you want to find stupid trade exploits and ways of getting around engineering shit, you came to the wrong channel. Uh, that's not, not going to happen. What have we got? Nothing of interest. Oh, the big stuff's gone away now. Come on, cease to exist, be a good sport. We're gonna head off, I think, after this one. Uh, <laughs> that's one way to do it. Uh, oh yeah, just a little fun comment on this last one. I uh, had a, one or two people in the last video say, oh, you're a terrible pilot, no, you're shit. <laughs> yeah, sure, okay. <laughs> cool story. Um, Cool story. You've not seen some of the awful shit that people do in this game, then, if you think I'm a bad pilot. And uh, for the person who said, Oh, yeah, you won't last two minutes in PvP, I can kick your ass with my Python. Again, cool story. Cool story. Um, not bragging. I don't do bragging, I'll see a point in it, but I don't see why people feel the need to say stupid things like that. Like, oh, my shitty little ship will beat your ship. Cool. Do you feel powerful now? Has your internet penis grown incrementally larger? Is that a thing? Or do you just want to say something oppositional and hope you'll start an argument? Which, unfortunately, I've just helped them with. But hey, um, look, this ship's been used in PvP. It's never going to be as agile as using a third lance, fully engineered up to teeth. But it survives and it works, okay? I've done head-to-heads with people in third lances and I've lasted quite a long time. Um, it all depends. It's all relative. Um, the one thing that annoys me, though, is when people try and tell other people how to play a game. And when you've got an open-world game like Elite Dangerous, which is playable in so many different ways, do you want to just straight play the missions? Do you want to just straight role play? Do you want to adventure, explore, trade, shoot people? There's so much variety, okay? And there are huge arguments right now between the PvE, player versus environment and PvP, player versus player communities, over what's fair and what's allowed. Hell, the game box says, trade, explore, fight, or simply kill other commanders. So for those people saying, oh, PvP wasn't intended in the game, you're wrong. 
it explicitly says it on the fucking adverts and it says it on the initial information okay but it doesn't mean the pve is wrong either so the pvp is running around going oh the pve is a suck the shit no they just want to play a different game okay fact is this is an incredible game that lets us all play how we want and when we want to do what we want so do just that enjoy it you know have fun and enjoy your experience i play this game the way i want to play and others play it differently whatever there's no wrong way well no there are stupid ways there are inefficient ways and there are sometimes just hilariously bad ways but no wrong way and that sounds very oh let's all hug and sing come by our friendly mode but sorry i've kind of got a bit of a rant here as we're coming into dock um please continue on your current heading commander but i mean it you know we there's many ways to play things and do things and some people have preferences some people don't so what else next video hopefully will be me doing some stuff in smaller ships like the third lance or the viper or an eagle I might take out my 600 meters per second eagle, that'd be hilarious. But, uh, yeah. As I said, I was so kind of surprised by the number of viewers I got on my first video and the second one. I'm glad you guys have enjoyed it so far. Hopefully you've enjoyed this one too. It's pretty much me answering questions and ranting whilst blowing up ships. But, yeah. Thanks for watching. Um, how much do we make before we go off? We stock and refuel. Contacts. Oh no, we, we paid those. Combat bond contact. We've got 800 grand in combat bonds. And our mission. No, that's the fucking commodities. I'm not a trader. Mission board. What do we get? We got money. 400 grand. And we got more money. Cool. Now we have lots of missions available, which is always fun. So, I might do an assassination one actually next. We'll do that. But, well, thanks for watching, guys. It's been fun as always. Um, yeah. Whatever you're doing, hope you enjoy it. Bye-bye.